Hey guys, welcome back to the car table. So this video upload is going to be a bit different, but um, basically at the moment you can be seeing my screen, and basically uh, this video is just going to be a little tutorial on Windows Live Movie Maker, which is basically the program I use to edit my videos. So some of you guys also may be wondering what I'm using to film this video with. Um, I'm actually using Screenomatic, which is a, a screen video well just screen video uh, monitor sort of thing basically it's completely free free download and it works really well so um, first of all I'm going to show you just a few features of Windows Live Movie Maker then I'll get into a bit more detail and explanation so first of all there's this little bar here and um, basically if you hover over it it'll turn blue and you have these two arrows basically if you uh, hold it down like so you can sort of uh, drag about where you want this sort of video and if you can see this sort of dotted box section this is actually going to be your timeline but I haven't got anything in my timeline yet and then this is where you can view like so at the top we've got paste, cut and copy, add videos, add music, webcam video, snapshot, title, caption and credits and we've got animations, visual effects, project and view but uh, we'll talk about all them a bit later. Then we've got this little tab here. That's like saving projects and things like that. And of course we've got the redo and undo buttons and save. So uh, first of all we'll talk about adding titles. So this is really, really easy uh, to do. And uh, basically all you need to do, I just delete that, is just press the title button. And it will add you a title. Um, from here. Uh, you can edit the text so I'll put it as demo demo video and uh, we'll just add that opener and uh, you can change whether it's uh, bold size of it like so also I want to apologize in advance for any sort of background noise and also you can change the font it's in quite like it this one and you can change sort of what you want it to look like so you've got a whole bunch of options here uh, again this is one I generally use and then you can play it back like so also you can uh, time how long you want it so to do this all you have to do is double click and it will come up with this sort of page here just uh, you can change the background color as well so I'm going to change it to sort of light purple, that's quite nice. And change the duration to 3 seconds. So this is what this title looks like. Like so. So it's quite cool. Okay, now I'm going to talk about adding videos and photos and then eventually editing them. Just to let you know, caption credits, these are very easy things. I'm not going to go over them, but you guys should be able to figure it out. So the add videos and photos button is where you're going to add your videos. Uh, add music button of course is where you're going to add music and webcam video is where you can shoot it with your webcam but um, I'm not going to go into detail on the webcam video uh, I'm not exactly sure how you use snapshot so again I'm not going to really go into that sort of um, detail but uh, we'll go on videos and photos button and it'll come up with your sort of documents and um, I'm in pictures at the moment and just go on my two recent videos which is for pop flourish so I'll just click on the video and this will enable me to add it and uh, I can check what video I've got here, it will say file name then what it's called and let's say I wanted to add two videos or lots of photos or videos, whatever um, all you have to do is just hold down the control key press the videos or photos that you want to add oh sorry, did that wrong so press, hold down the control key, press and uh, you will be able to add two videos but uh, I'll just use one video just for the tutorial. Then you press the open button. So now you should have your video. So um, so far this is what I've got. Like so. So I've got demo video, and then of course we've got um, my video. But um, what we're going to do is double click on the video, and you'll be able to get this sort of uh, bit at the top up, and you can change your video volume to nothing. Uh, not a lot, like so. Um, but I'm going to have it on nothing because I'll have music in the background. 
Uh, now you can also change the speed of your video if you want it quite slow, like so. Or if you want it really fast, so I put it on four times. So some of you guys may have seen the uses of this um, on my having fun with cards video. Uh, so yeah. Also, uh, this little uh, black sort of line here. If you move it to a certain position in the video, let's say I want it about here, press the split button, it will split that video. And then you can, of course, move around these uh, sort of frames, I guess. Also, you can trim a video, simply click on it, press the trim tool, and then you can trim it, like so. And uh, you can view it as well and save it to trim. And again, just move things around, trim videos. Um, like so. I like it there. So yeah. Also you guys may have seen the little flashy sort of titles in between my videos. Uh, simply to do this, just click on the title button, uh, delete the text, and then change the duration to one second if you want this sort of thing. Oop. So sort of like that. Oop. So if you want sort of like uh, this flashy thing between them like that. Um, also you can change effects on your videos, uh, so click on video, go on animations and you can change sort of the animations that you want, so uh, for instance I might want this one, like so, and um, I also um, might want to put an animation on this video, so let's say I want to go for, um, hmm, I'm going to go for um, I don't know let's do one for you guys I'll do this one like so also you can do pan zoom on your videos I'm not quite sure how that works but yeah and also you can change the duration of that um, of the transition so you can make it shorter like so so just move the video here so you can make it short, or if you want to, you can make it quite long. I like it on 150. So so far, we've got this video, like so. Oh, and I'm just going to change a few timings um, on my video. So I'll make this one uh, quite slow, but we'll trim it a little bit. So. Do it about here. Like so. Save that trim. And I'll make this one uh, really fast. We'll do four times. Like so. So now my videos have been edited. And now I'll talk about adding visual effects. So click on the video, go on the visual effects button. And uh, you can add lots of different effects. So we can have this sort of sketch effects, like so. And maybe one of your videos. Uh, if we go on visual effects might want it sort of like this blurred stuff but there's lots of different effects you can do in your videos um, but I think I'm gonna put blurred one on here and we'll make this one blue also you can change the brightness of your video so if you want it a bit brighter or darker you can do that like so just by this little dress bar and um, now I'm gonna talk about adding and editing music so to add music it's really simple, just click the add music button and choose the music you want. So let's say I want song number 7. Now some of you guys may have seen my Pop Flourish uh, sort of video that I've posted. It's got a little bit of this at the beginning. Yeah, you may recognise that. But actually this is, um, this is just like... Um, a voice call from like an airport or something but basically um, the website I use is called newgrounds.com and basically that's where I download all my music it's not copyright at all so yeah it's quite cool and I found this and I just took the beginning of it and then I added another song so um, let's say if I want it right about here if I'm options I can split and delete some of this music like so. Also, if you click on the music, you can change its volume, you can make it uh, quite quiet, 
like that. Or um, of course you can make it quite loud. So um, that's sort of splitting music. Again you can add more music after this. Uh, like so. So we'll do this. Oh sorry. Song number six. So now I've got my video like so. And let's say I wanted to cut some of this strip set to that. Um, wait, let split here. Split that. So this is my final project after all that editing. So hopefully you guys will be able to hear this. So this is my finished project. So you guys may be wondering how I got onto full screen, there's just this little blue arrow here and you can view it full screen and to uh, get escape from that, just press the escape key. So that's pretty much this tutorial and I'm just going to teach you how you can save the videos now. So um, you go on this blue tab up here, then you go on save movie and then there's a few different options, you can burn it for a DVD, for a computer, for email, but I like to do it for high definition display. And then find a place where you'd like to save it. So I will save it in YouTube videos edited. And um, I think I actually spelled that wrong. Um, but I'm going to save it as demo video. And press the save button. And it will save your movie. Uh, from here, you can actually upload to YouTube if you're signed into your Windows account. And um, it's really really simple so yeah and uh, then you can go into your document video studio so again I'm using Windows Live Movie Maker and um, Screenomatic to do this video so I hope you guys like uh, this little video it's really really easy to do and um, once it's uh, complete just waiting like so um, almost done but as I said here's the timeline Here's sort of the viewing area and here's the tabs and sort of everywhere else where you can add effects and things. So almost done. And when it's done, it will probably come up with a little notification you can play it. So I'll play it for you guys. Um, here we are. tutorial and please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you next time at the party. Bye.